every year in the UK, 16,000 people are diagnosed with a brain tumour. Brain tumours are one of the few conditions more prevalent today than 30 years ago. My life changed on the 8th of May 2011. I was told I had a benign brain tumour. September 2012, I was told that it turned cancerous. Your, your life changes overnight. From what your life was before, it changes within that day. I was diagnosed on Boxing Day. I had a seizure that morning and then was taken to a &E, and I was there, they did a CT scan and found the brain tumour. In 2003, my husband and I were given the news that he had an inoperable brain tumour. My reaction was, so what do we do to fix this problem, basically? Um, which, as I say, the news came back that there was very limited um, treatment that could, was available for Alan's particular type of tumour. More people under 40 die of a brain tumour than any other type of cancer. When you're hit with statistics like that, most people are, are astonished at that, yet, again, unfortunately, only, I think I say, one or two percent of funding goes towards brain tumours. Since it was first established in 2007, the Centre for Cancer Research and Cell Biology at Queen's University Belfast has made enormous strides in the fight against cancer. The Centre for Cancer Research and Cell Biology is a dynamic research environment here created by Queen's University. The purpose of what we are trying to do is to undertake basic scientific discovery. But the key thing is to use that discovery then to apply in the clinic to improve patient outcomes. No one centre is going to bring forward all the discoveries that are going to change the way in which we treat patients. So the work that we do in Belfast is very much a partnership. It's about feeding knowledge into other centres so that we can improve care globally, but then it's also about taking knowledge acquired from other centres and applying it locally. With the help of vital funding from Brainwaves NI, researchers at CCRCB are now using their knowledge of other cancers and applying it to brain tumour research. Because of our size, we have to concentrate or focus our efforts in key diseases. But what we can do is we use the expertise academically to try and get into other disease specialties. And that's the, the beauty of the brain tumour research programme. It is now gaining momentum and, and that's important. The Brain Tumour Research Programme at CCRCB is already making progress in the fight against glioma, a type of malignant brain tumour. They are characterised by a bulk, like any tumour, but they also have an inherent propensity for infiltration into the surrounding normal tissue. They are relatively radiation resistant, so that's really one of the things that we're interested in here as well, is what are the hallmarks of these stem-like cells which make them more resistant than the other cell, tumour cells, and that we can make them a bit more sensitive to whatever other treatments we can give um, to make the tumour more responsive and hopefully uh, result in better outcomes for patients. The initial focus of brain tumour research at CCRCB has identified a protein that acts as an invasive marker in brain tumour cells. We've highlighted that a particular protein called cathepsin S appears to play a role in this invasion process. Uh, and in fact, uh, that, that there may be a patient-to-patient -patient variability. So we're trying to understand how cathepsin S works. What we're trying to do is target this invasive marker, and we've managed to actually remove it from some of the brain tumour cells that we're studying, and look at it, their response in vitro, in cells, in the lab, and we're studying how it affects the brain tumour growth. What we need is to really learn what can stop these brain tumours from spreading and recurring because if they can spread, they can escape, you know, the surgeon's knife, they can escape the radiation field that you focus the tumours on. Um, so what we want to do is stop them from doing that. Of course, radiation continues to play a vital role in the treatment of brain tumours and researchers at CCRCB are searching for ways in which this type of treatment might be further improved. 
In terms of the, the radiation biology side of things, we have uh, a few models which look at how tumours grow and we have various you know, techniques and technologies to see how they respond to radiation. And our preliminary work has shown that the, the stem cells can actually uh, initially show initial response to radiation, but actually bounce back. So I think we're hoping to, to build on that and, and identify is there anything that we can target that make it the Achilles heel of the, the tumour cells and make it more responsive. In order to maintain momentum in brain tumour research, Brainwaves NI has helped establish a brain tumour focus group in Belfast. This group combines the expertise of the professionals involved in research along with vital input from patients. Everybody brings their expertise and hopefully with all this we can see how best to develop these um, studies that we have in the lab and, and hopefully bring it to the patients. Having the key groups such as surgery, surgery oncology, pathology and the sci scientists around the table, we can share that knowledge and we can say well these are our strengths, let's build on these and, and take it into the next sphere so that we, you know, we will be a significant player in, in the UK and, and further field in terms of glioma biology research. Brainwaves NI is the only registered charity in Northern Ireland providing information and support to those affected by a brain tumour. And through the generosity of our supporters, the funding we provide for brain tumour research is starting to make a difference. With brain tumour research here, basically it has been a majority of it brainwaves who have supported and um, allowed us to carry on this research. Without brainwaves, we would not have been able to do the research. The work that brainwaves and its supporters do in pump priming our research, funding the studies that are trying to develop the proof of concept is really important. It is the essential element of sustaining and growing new research concepts. Without the help of brainwaves, you know, I think it would be safe to say we wouldn't be at this stage without their tremendous support. I hope that we, we continue to develop this you know, good partnership that we have. We, we work very well together and, and I think we're starting to reap the benefits of that. Working with the local community, Brainwaves NI aims to provide sustainable and continuous funding into research, allowing more people to survive the diagnosis of a brain tumour. <laughs>